how to do the fringe stitch and how to start off your shawl. So we're just going to uh, make our first loop, pop our needle in and we're going to cast on two stitches. So I've got one, now I'm casting on the other. So there we go, we've got two stitches. Now we're going to do the um, fringe stitch. So you knit into your first stitch and then you bring your yarn around as if to knit and the pattern actually says to wrap it around your thumb like that. I find it actually, um, I find it just as easy to bring my yarn through as if I'm knitting and then bring the back part of the yarn and you've got the loop here. So that's what's going to make your fringe. So there we go. Now it really helps if you take this fringe and keep it alongside your left hand needle. And what this does is it keeps it out of the way but it also separates the stitches because you've got your first part here and this is the second end of the stitch. So we're going to bring this needle back in front and knit into that stitch again. Okay, so we've got two stitches and here's the fringe that I'm still holding. And while I'm holding it, I'm going to take the first stitch and take it over that second. Now that locks off your fringe. Okay, so here's my second stitch. Take my yarn through and the other part or the back tail of the yarn or loop of the yarn, I should say. Twist your fringe away from you if you've spun a Z twist single and hold it in your left hand. Bring this needle back in front and knit into the stitch. Again, here we go. So I've got two stitches and the fringe and I take that first stitch over the second. So there we go, I've got, that's just my cast on tail, I've now got two fringes and two stitches. So the next part, let me just unwind and you can tell it's a highly twisted single. The next part is, uh, this, the next row is to make, first of all, another fringe in your first stitch. And that's always going to be the case. Pull it and twist it away from you into the left hand. This needle then comes back in front and you knit into that stitch again. And then take the first stitch over the second. Get rid of that hairy bit, whatever it is. Okay, now I do a yarn over and then knit into the, and make a fringe I should say, into the last stitch. There we go, bring this in front. And knit, oops, it's a bit tight. It'll always be a bit tight in your first couple of rows. So now I've got technically uh, still two fringes in this row, but three stitches. I'm starting to build up the stitches in the middle because we're starting at the bottom point of the wrap. So as per every row, the first stitch is always make a fringe and the last stitch is always make a fringe. And take that over. Now I've got my yarn over coming now. So I'm actually going to knit into the back and then the front of this yarn over. And then my last stitch, I make a fringe. Here we go. Hold it in my left hand. Bring your right hand needle back in front 
and knit into the second half of that stitch and take the first one over. So I'm starting to build now. I've still got my two fringes each end but you see I've got stitches in the middle. And so now my the format is to follow on, make a fringe, then I knit front and back. Now if there were any stitches in between I would knit, 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 garter stitch but the last two stitches are always knit front and back and make a fringe. So those two stitches are always uh, taken care of the same way as per the pattern.